Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking, and today we finally got our new shipment for our Ipsy bag and our Boxy Charm. Um, the Ipsy bag feels pretty good this time, so let's go ahead and get into it. As always, I am not prepared. You'd think by now that I would just like be ready for this, but I'm not. Okay, cool. So, this uh, theme is hashtag Ipsy much love theme. That's a loose term, by the way. All right. And then it has this. It's a cute little card, but um, this bag is not that great I guess because like the last two Valentine's bags have been super awesome so for this one to be like very plain it's a little bit disappointing I mean the tag is cute because it has like little lips where it is little lips but other than that I'm not impressed with just like the denim bag so whatever on that one but first item it was actually outside the bag and it is a Royal and Langnickel fan brush looks like it's gonna be a lot better than the last month's um, Boxy Charm brush. Remember the highlighter brush we got? That was all like weird. This is really pretty actually. It comes with like a nice little cover here to keep the fan. So it's, yeah, it's pretty soft. A few of the hairs came out and it looks like it might not have been done correctly. Oh goodness. But here's the fan brush. You know, it's nice and soft, so nothing too crazy, but better than the last one that we had, that's for sure. Um, I'm starting this video without any makeup. I want to try something a little bit different. I think I say that, like, a lot, but it's usually relatively the same. Um, I'm going to try to do a lot of, like, live testing on, on myself. So if I get, like, a eyeliner, I want to try it. Or if I get, like, a highlighter, just, like, do a little highlighter, whatever. So I'm going to have my mirror here ready for when that happens. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to happen already a mess. Now let's open the bag. Alright, first thing is, ooh, um, Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protection Cream. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't use a lot of heat on my hair, but for when I do, it is really nice to have something along the lines of a protection. Uh, there we go. Anyway, so our first thing is the Blow Dry and Heat Protection. What is this? This is cute. It looks like it is a um, individual pan, and it says Hikari Cream Pigment in the color Latte. So the brand is Hikari. There you go. And it's just a plastic little one pan piece, tester if you will. Uh, open it. Okay. There we go. Ooh, goodness. Look at that eyeshadow. That is a lovely brown shimmer color. If it's not going to focus. Ay vey. Come on. Anyway, I don't know why, like last video it focused so well on everything. It didn't take much time for it to do anything. It looked like when I was looking at the actual pan, it looked like it had um, like sh sparkles in it, but then you put it on and it's just a shimmer and that is so pretty. So I really, really appreciate that. That is a gorgeous color. Okay. Next item is a NYX L Butter Lipstick in the shade um, Lifeguard. So that's a really pretty color. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that's a pretty color. I really like that. I love that deep red goes along with my blue hair just nicely. Just a little stuff all over my fingers. Last item in the bag is a 
Illuminude 74% Water-Based Skin Illuminator by Seraphin Botanicals. That's interesting. So here it is. Maybe, maybe not. Me guy. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's like a, oh, what is this? Is it like a tanner? Cause it's gold, it's gold colored. Like it would be like a tanner. Can you, can you see that? Probably not. <laughs> you can't see anything on this camera. That's so weird. It like has a gold tinge to it. It blends in a little bit, but it's almost like it has like gold dust, like a gold pigment. Which would be fine for people of my skin tone, but if you're a lighter skin tone, it's not going to look great on you. I mean, that's cool, but I don't get it. Uh, pat on the cheekbones. Oh, so I think it is a, yeah, it is a, it's a highlighter. It's supposed to be a highlighter. But it doesn't say that. It's a skin illuminator. Like, it's supposed to be like a facial, like, moisturizer. But it's a highlighter, so that explains a lot. So that's it for the Ipsy bag. It's pretty, it's actually pretty cool. I'm not um, mad at it at all. So we got our uh, very actually more like Valentine's related than I would think like with the bold lip, with the brown, um, you know, eye color. And then you have the gold highlighter as well as a blow dry protectant. And then you have the brush for whatever you need the brush for because it's definitely not going to be used on this liquid highlighter but it is pretty cool that you get all this uh for valentine's day very nice the lipstick it's not a matte it is a very you know a cream lipstick so it doesn't have that um that matte dry down like you would expect uh so i mean pretty cool the only downside is the bag which i mean it's plain and Honestly, I might just end up throwing it away because I don't really like it at all. Uh, I have kept all my other bags up until this point, but this one might just get thrown away because I'm getting tired of collecting these and not ever using them. So uh, with that being said, a pretty awesome Ipsy bag this month. Uh, actually very well themed for like any Ipsy bag ever because they've never been themed before, or at least they've never felt themed. Uh, but this one did feel themed, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I'm going to cut right here because I'm my battery is dying and then I'll get into the boxy charm when we get back in a few minutes so my lipstick will probably be off and I'll probably be a little more cleaned up but uh, up until then um, I'm gonna cut it and then you'll see me in a few seconds see you in a minute oh boy <laughs> we're back but um, it's about what quite a few hours later for me uh, I left the video on at around like 4.30 and it is currently 11.40. <laughs> I got caught playing a game, okay? I can't help it. And you know, I just remembered that you guys were waiting for me, so I'm back and we're gonna do BoxyCharm. <laughs> Please don't judge me. <laughs> Alright, let's open this. I mean, you know, that happens to everyone, right? Where they just like totally forget in the middle, middle of their filming that they're doing a video. So, you know, they just kind of pop up again. I mean, it's only been like a second for you, but it's been hours for me. All right, staying true to form, here's your first look. What do you see? First thing I see is a Would You Be My Galentine. Uh, here is everything that you need to know about what is in the box. Maybe it'll focus for you, maybe it won't. It's, there we go, there we go. All right, so that's everything that you need to know. You can go ahead and pause it if you need to. And let's get into it. So they, um, it seems like every month they do like a discount promo card. Uh, this one is from Dr. Brandt Skin Changing Science for 25% off. You can use Boxy25 at checkout for your 25% off coupon. Let's just let that focus for a minute. Maybe. Oh, here. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. First thing is two things. Oh, and they're both from Makeup Geek and they are both a pressed eyeshadow pan. Oh, that's awesome. One in the shade of Bitten and the second in the shade of Creme Brulee. 
you can see these shades here. Bitten is like a uh, dark kind of maroon color. Creme brulee is a very uh, tan color. Let's go ahead and do some swatches. Uh, I know that I said that I was going to do like a live kind of, oh geez, they are very loose in here. <laughs> Who did this? I know I said that I was going to do like a, a live kind of um, demonstration for you, but I don't have any brushes. I didn't really prepare myself. It's also like midnight here and I didn't think about it even though I had all those hours to plan. Uh, let's just, ooh. Okay. I know it's midnight and I'm putting makeup on. Who does that? That was a very pretty color though, just kind of like right off the bat. It's like a brick red color. Very soft, very buildable. I know Makeup Geek um, has a very good reputation for their uh, eyeshadow shades. So it's kind of cool to like get some individual pans. I'm going to end up having to get a Z palette for all these individual things. All right, let's see here. This is just Remnants, so don't judge it off of this. It's just remnants for what I had on my finger after I rubbed it all, all over my eyelid. But you can see, it's a very pretty color. Uh, let's just do a finger swatch of creme brulee. I'm gonna be sitting here with the, the rest of the video looking like I have a black eye. Let's see, creme brulee. Yeah, just a very nice, kind of neutral brown tone. Very good for like a transition color, especially between this one and the one that uh, we just got. So that's pretty cool how that was kind of planned out. It, maybe it wasn't planned out, but you can see it's like that nice warm tone, kind of tan color. So that is very nice. I like that a lot actually. So I'll probably get a Z palette so I can like put all these individuals together. Uh, next thing, oh, look at this. This would have been nice to have like three seconds ago. <laughs> it's a brush kit, you know, because I do things individually and I don't plan ahead. This would have been nice for trying to apply the eyeshadow that I just put on. <laughs> so it looks like these are from Royal and Lang Nickel. Oh, that's funny. Is that what this is from? Yeah, this is uh, the one from Ipsy is absolutely from the same company. So that's really weird but cool at the same time that I got three brushes from the same company with two different like brands. So this one is a fluffy, um, it looks like a blending brush. This one is a more packed brush. The colors are pretty stunning actually. Uh, if you need to know the actual details of both of these brushes, the uh, fluffier brush is a BOM40 shader brush. The other one is a BOM18 detail brush in case you want to go ahead and buy these later. But it looks like it may come in a kit for you, so that'd be something that you can look into later as well. And it's not gonna focus. That's cool. But you get the gist of it. I mean, you've seen these types of brushes a million times, I'm sure. So that's pretty cool that it comes in like a little, you know, kit there. I've never heard of Royal Langnickel, so that's kind of a new brand. Oh, that is so funny. Wow. <laughs> so we were just talking about a Z palette. Guess what we got this month? We got a small Z palette from a uh, BoxyCharm. So here it is. It looks like it has a plastic hard covering on it. Um, it has the metal base and it looks like it has some metal stickies for you. So you can put, if it's not like in a metal pan, so it looks like you can, you know, put some stickies on it and just pop them in there. So that's pretty cool. This is a uh, BoxyCharm Z palette. And it is in the uh, small size, so that's perfect. Good job, BoxyCharm. You knew that you knew what you were doing this month. So I'm actually thoroughly impressed. You gave us brushes, you gave us eyeshadows, you gave us a Z palette to put everything in. Uh, next thing is from uh, Juice Beauty Organic Solutions and it's Reflecting Gloss in Fig. See, it says that it's organic certified and all that jazz. I'm imagining that this is the fig shade, this like light creamy shade up here. 
Um, let's see. Shimmer your lips in a brilliant, so it's probably going to be a lip gloss or something. Ooh. That's pretty. It looks like it is a lip gloss, but for it being a lip gloss, it does look very nice. It smells like citrus, so that's really nice too. It has uh, sparkles in it. This color is a uh, very close to my actual lip tone. I know you can see everything that's wrong with my face, but I don't care. My lighting seems like really bad today. I don't know what's going on. Oh well. So that's kind of cool. And the last thing in our boxy charm box. This has been an overall great box so far, actually. Um, way better than last month. Everything seems a lot better. <clears throat> Is Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion uh, Age Defying Exfoliator. Renew skin, radiance, polishes, blah, 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 all that good shit. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So we got like a full size of this, you know, like skin. I'm not sure if it's, it's white. I'm going to put just a little dab on here to kind of see what the texture is like. Okay, so it is a, a little sandy, almost, um, it's a very fine sand. It smells very good. It has like a mint smell. So I like that a lot. That is awesome. I've been needing to look for like new skincare, as you can see, I kind of like break out in random places. So it smells like it might have tea tree oil in it. It doesn't say, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't have the ingredients on here, but it is tingling a little bit. Um, so it might have tea tree oil in it. I know some people might not like it or they might have like some kind of allergy to it. So if that's the case, then definitely stay away from this um, because that might be the case with these particular or with this particular uh, facial scrub. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, these right in here real quick. Because since I do have the brushes now and I have the uh, eyeshadow, actually I have all three eyeshadows, especially the last one from the Ipsy, which is the Hikari um, Brown in the Latte. I don't like this plastic packaging and it kind of came out anyway when I first brought it out. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the Z palette as well. Maybe. Ooh. So we'll just put that in there. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to test the brush out on this one with the same uh, red brick shade uh, just to see how the brush performs and see how well the actual uh, eyeshadow blends out. So just give me a minute and I'll be right back, okay? All right. Wow. What a difference. So this particular eyeshadow brush, the... Um, the shader brush picked up a lot of pigment. Uh, a lot of that could be also due to the shadow itself. Um, because it's Makeup Geek, so I know they are known for being very pigmented and very nice. They are very blendable. It blended out very nicely. Uh, I didn't do the best job because it took like two seconds. But for what it picked up and how it performed, it blended everything nicely real quick. Um, I say blended, but I only use one color. So you can see the comparison between my finger and the actual brush and both had about the same amount of like pigment that was picked up on them. So I hate like bending down like this. <laughs> there you go. Welcome to my mess of a YouTube channel. I hope you like your stay. <laughs> All right, so um, kudos. Kudos for BoxyCharm this month. Kudos for Ipsy. If they would put all of their, um, like, you know, energy into boxes like this every month, then people might not get disappointed if they actually themed it like they should. Uh, this is amazing. You know, you get the two eyeshadows, the brushes. So people that don't have, like, a full makeup collection or they don't have, like, certain colors or, you know, you can make... Um, a total eyeshadow look out of just these two colors if you need to it's not that complicated it would be a very soft like good Valentine color and the fact that you get two different brushes to achieve that kind of look with is amazing uh, so BoxyCharm hit it out of the park with me um, Ipsy actually did a fantastic job I have nothing negative to say about their particular like you know 
I have nothing bad to say this this month. I'm so happy and I'm so surprised uh, with everything that we got. If you like this style of video where I just kind of like live test things that I can, um, just let me know. If you prefer the hand swatches, that's perfectly fine too. Um, I just want to try to get the best like first impression that I can for you guys because it's really important to me to give you the best first that I can. Um, I was also thinking about doing like a kind of recap on old things that we've gotten in the past, uh, things that I have been using. Um, so if you'd like me to do that video, I will be doing that soon. I just need to collect everything. Uh, surprisingly, I know uh, since we just did the uh, Black Heart video during out the week since I've filmed it and since I've uploaded it, uh, the black eyeliner that came in the Black Noir um, set has been amazing. The felt tip eyeliner has been the best one that I've tried and I've tried the Too Faced, I've tried Kat Von D, I've tried the Ciat. Uh, the Ciat one I really liked but um, out of all of them surprisingly the Black fa the Blackheart brand is my favorite. It comes off easy when I want it to come off like with my makeup remover. It doesn't like leave anything on my crease because I have kind of like hooded eyelids so uh, sometimes the eyeshadow will go up on my eyelid and I don't really like that. But it doesn't go up on my crease, it dries down really fast, it stays very pigmented all day, it doesn't like wipe away or anything. It's the weirdest thing that I've ever experienced because it's probably, if you buy it, it's maybe like, what, three, four dollars at Hot Topic? I, I don't know because I've never bought the individual one, but um, I'm probably going to. The tip on it stays pretty sharp, um, so I can do a nice wing liner. I think actually in... Oh no, I haven't worn it for you guys yet, uh, but I will. So it's been an awesome, awesome eyeliner. Uh, I just wanted to throw that in there because we were talking about you know products that I've tried already. Uh, so yeah, just let me know uh, what you guys think about you know this month's box. I personally am overwhelmed by it. It's great thought, great products. It's been amazing for me. Uh, so leave anything that you want to say down below. Uh, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That is the Captain Bones with a Z on the end. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.